Hi, I'm Jonathan O'Toole. I think most of you know by now that um, I was arrested over a week ago uh, upon entering Kenya from Rwanda at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport by um, Kenya Immigration and then on behalf of, um, I was at first told on behalf of uh, Kenya CID, Kenya Police, and then, <coughs> excuse me, I was held, um, at, detained and, and jailed over um, over 34 hours in a jail cell in violation of the Kenyan constitution and international law with no charges. No one could, in all that time, no one could tell me uh, any charges against me. And uh, a week later, uh, let's see, finally I was released from custody after more than um, 40 something hours, um, but my passport was held. And uh, I was it was explained to me by the um, chief of the Kenya police at the Nairobi airport that I was being held. Kenya has no problem with me and he welcomed me to Kenya and he apologized to me for the arrest uh, three times and he officially welcomed me to Kenya. Uh, he waited and waited and waited for an FBI team because I was being held at the behest of the FBI. And yet, the FBI team never came, they never came, they never came, and then they said they were going to send him a dossier. And then welfare agents from the U.S. Embassy uh, came to advocate for my release, and they were shocked to find uh, that they had not been informed that there was any problem or charges from the FBI. And as it turns out, there are no charges from the FBI. The FBI has charged me with nothing. They never sent the team, and they delayed many hours as I waited in the uh, police uh, offices. They delayed many hours and then they finally sent the dossier uh, on me from the FBI to uh, the chief at the airport and it contained nothing, not even the allegation of a crime, only just information about projectc.com and information about the fact that, which is not news, that for many years I've been very radically opposed to murdering babies in the womb that I am also opposed to sodomy. And both those things are against the law in Kenya. So that's why uh, the police chief called me brother. He shook my hand, he welcomed me to Kenya. But the problem is, he wrote a letter to CID headquarters. That's the Kenyan police headquarters. And my passport is still being held by immigration at the government house downtown in Nairobi. And I've been there several times. Um, I'm on my way right now, going back there again, uh, spending you know a lot of money I'm unable to visit my Kenyan family. My wife is a Kenyan, a Kikuyu lady. My children are beautiful Kenyan uh, children. Uh, that I'm, I'm their dad, and I instead of spending time with them, I'm unable to leave Kenya. My passport is being held, and there's still a stop and arrest uh, order over me because I'm waiting for uh, more than a week now for the Kenyan police to uh, release to instruct the immigration, rather, to release my passport. What's happening to me is that I'm being harassed. Those things which certain rogue, evil, satanic elements of the FBI cannot do to me legally in the U.S., they have strong-armed a foreign agency, foreign governments, uh, acting in good faith for the most part, uh, in collaboration with uh, the FBI, to um, to or arrest me for things I could never be, I mean, for nothing. I'm, I have, to this day, to this moment, have not been charged with anything. I have committed no crime. I am innocent. And I'm asking you, the number is up on this video. I'm asking you to call and SMS, text uh, CID headquarters in Nairobi and ask them to direct immigration in Kenya to release my United States passport. Because right now, over a week with no charges from the United States, no charges from the FBI. Uh, Kenya has no charges against me, no problem with me. But a week, uh, more than a week later, I'm still being held as a political prisoner in Kenya because I'm against abortion and because I'm against sodomy. And I suspect, I can't, I verify the first two. Um, even though I wasn't given a copy of the dossier, I verified with the police that that's the contents of the dossier. But I suspect that uh, what added fuel to that fire is my criticism of international Zionism. So I'm asking you, uh, my friends, to call the number here on this screen, 
at CID headquarters and politely, politely ask them to uh, release, to direct Kenya Immigration to release my passport and, and to let me go. Uh, I'm a political prisoner for the cause of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the cause of God, for the cause of justice, for innocent pre-born babies. The United States uh, factions of the U.S. government, along with NGOs uh, that are representing the abortion industry, the multi-billion dollar abortion, global abortion industry, and those efforts to promote uh, the disgusting abominable sin of sodomy to legalize it all around the world I've, I've pissed those people off okay I've exposed them I've exposed some of their NGOs but I haven't threatened anyone and I haven't harmed anyone that's the bottom line I'm not a threat to anyone I I speak the truth and I speak the truth in love so I'm asking you to open your mouth for me I opened the mouth my mouth <clears throat> for the law of God for justice and for the pre-born babies and I'm suffering for it my family's suffering for it, and I'm asking you men and women of goodwill to open your mouths on my behalf. Please. Thank you.